It only takes one misstep and your life could be ruined. 10 ways somebody can really biff it and have lingering regrets. This is true for any of us. One way you can do that, believe that ideas don't have consequences. The simple believe anything, but the prudent give thought to their steps. It's just stuff. It's just thinking. It's just beliefs. It doesn't really matter. This is a tragic error because all worldviews have consequences. All thoughts have end games to them. God's way of thinking will end up with what? Peace and joy and all kinds of blessings. Shalom. Problem is, all the other ideas, they're Satan's ideas. Where do they end up? death, destruction. Live outside your means. The rich rule over the poor and the borrower is slave to the lender. Yes, you qualified for a bigger home. Yes, you could have a larger mortgage. This is some proverbial wisdom. If you want to ruin your life in your 20s or 30s, 40s, 50s, doesn't make any difference, push it right to the end. Just, just get right there because that way when something bad happens and it will, you won't be ready for it, and your life will be wrecked. Feed an addiction, the Proverbs say. The righteousness of the upright delivers them, but the unfaithful are trapped by evil desires. Addictions, if you like, will grab you, and they do it subtly. An addiction doesn't come knocking. Watch out for things that can snare you. Run with fools, the Proverbs say. Walk with the wise, you'll become wise. For a companion of fools suffers harm. What would be the first piece of advice that you would offer a young person to keep their feet from getting trapped in a snare? Most likely you're thinking, um, probably sex stuff. Nope, he gets there. But that comes after friends. Really? Who you choose to hang with will lead you to places that are either high and lofty or low and tawdry. Choose your friends wisely. Carelessly give your heart away, the Proverbs say. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. What is it your heart is inclined to love? If it ain't Jesus, you're probably loving something that isn't all that good for you. We're talking about idols here. It's the stuff. Man, I just gotta have it, and then I'll be happy. Congratulations, you will prove what John Calvin rightly said when he cleverly stated, idols always break the hearts of their worshipers. Tolerate evil, the Proverbs say. To fear the Lord is to hate evil. I hate pride and arrogance, evil behavior, and perverse speech. You are thinking, oh, you mean like dropping a bomb on a city or raping women? Yeah, that's evil. Now look at this right here, pride. Arrogance, evil behavior, nasty speech. Those are the things that God esteems as evil. Oh, oh yeah, the other things are evil too, but his standard is higher than ours. And he hates those things. And when we kind of pretend they're not so bad or we do not set ourselves against them, in a sense, we are for them and life will not go well. Make secondary things ultimate and ultimate things secondary. Say what? Proverbs say, keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise, I may have too much and disown you and say, who's the Lord? Or I may become poor and steal and so dishonor the name of my God. Be careful what you strive for. There's nothing wrong going to university, gaining a skill so that you can earn an income, so that you can spend it. Not not just on necessities, but on some things that you can enjoy because God allows those things. But when it's your heart's desire to become rich, you're just working and striving so that you can live the high life. You've actually chosen the low life. Believe that this life, it's all about you. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. This one is tough, isn't it? Because I don't know about you, but I love me some me. I love my life. I love what I do. I am primarily concerned about moi, and you are too. It's just our fallen, corrupt DNA that desires to put me in front of everything. When that happens, get ready. Whoop, 
down you go because that is not the way the universe operates because that's not the way that God operates. Live for immediate gratification. The wise store up choice food and olive oil, but the fool gulps theirs down. If it's going to be quick fun, careful. You could be violating this proverb. There are things they just they want you now, man. They want to just grab you and get you and cause you to consume it quick. Whenever that offer comes your way, be careful. You might be taking the road of the fool. And finally, number 10, avoid accountability. Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but whoever hates correction is stupid. The stupid person doesn't want to be corrected. The stupid person thinks I know everything. I've got this. What do you know? I am being nothing but stupid and I'm headed toward destruction. This isn't hard. Do you want God things or do you want the foolish things? Commit today. I want to run after God. I want to enjoy the things that he knows are good for me. I am going to reject foolish things. I am going to mortify those desires and choose the wise things this day and you will start down the path of wisdom and joy. Good evening, my fellow totally depraved Americans. 